Jeanette, tell us an idea of why the authorities have taken this step now and what's the atmosphere like on the streets as a consequence? Uh, the authorities really have been warning of another lockdown in Mumbai since about a week now. And that's because of a sudden surge in infections. India, India as a whole has been seeing a massive surge in infections in recent weeks. In fact, today we'll probably report a daily record of 100,000 new cases. And of the surge in infections, Maharashtra, which is, which is an Indian state that houses Mumbai, accounts for almost half of fresh infections as well as deaths over the past couple of weeks. So that's really pushed authorities to impose the lockdown. Uh, as about your question about mood in the streets, the new renewed restrictions take effect only 8 p.m. tonight. Uh, I, it seems like authorities have learned their lesson from last time around, where people had less than four, four or five hours to, uh, to prepare for a lockdown. They've given pretty much 24 hours this time. So you can see a sense of winding down. Uh, security guards are more conscious about cars which are being parked. Uh, people are asking, the police are on the road. They are asking more questions about whether you need to get into office. And you can see a sense of the city getting ready to lock itself down this night tonight. Uh, Jeanette, give us a sense of the possible impact from this lockdown. That's a very good question. Um, because this time, the lockdown is very limited. It will only impact the state of Maharashtra. The rest of the country will continue to, to be open. Having said that, Maharashtra accounts for 15% of India's GDP, uh, with all non-essential services shut, including dining restaurants, um, beauty salons, etc. We'll probably see a hidden consumption. We're still waiting for the markets to open. We'll look at how traders are looking at this news. But we'll probably see a hidden consumption. It's also very important because today the central bank starts a three-day meeting to decide monetary policy. The renewed restrictions, which were just announced last night, will weigh on policymakers' minds as they begin their meeting today. The decision is expected on Wednesday, and that will probably be the first commentary from policymakers about any kind of economic impact.